So it took NVIDIA, the chip manufacturer that predominantly makes GPU uh, chips for AI, or at least that's the bulk of their growth and revenue um, over the last couple of years, certainly over the last 12 months. Well, it took NVIDIA 24 years to reach a $1 trillion market cap, but it only took two years since then to be worth $4 trillion, and it actually hit $5 trillion in market cap uh, briefly in October. It's now around four and three quarters or $4.75 trillion um, and as of this recording, which is early November. Uh, Palantir, the uh, AI-powered intelligence and security company, shady as shit, uh, but that's for another podcast. That's currently trading at 137 times price to sales, which means that its stock price is 137 times higher, at least its total market cap, I should say, is 137 times its sales multiple, which on the face of it seems pretty nuts. Oracle's trading at a price to earnings ratio of 57 as of early November. OpenAI is projected to reach around 15 billion in revenue by the end of 2025, but it just completed or facilitated a secondary sales offer at a reported $500 billion valuation, which at that time was more than 40 times revenue. Anthropic was just valued at 36 times revenue, and that was triple the valuation they marked earlier just this year in 2025. The MAG-7 is responsible for 41% of the total gains in the S&P 500 in 2025. Uh, and a little over 30% of the entire market. 41% of the gains are tied up in seven companies. And if you don't know, the MAG-7 is Apple, Microsoft, Alphabet, Amazon, NVIDIA, Meta, and Tesla. Uh, 